This is my 97 Mitsubishi Verada, nicknamed uh, Bocky. Uh, could do with a wash, but at the moment I think other things are more importantly, like the service is overdue, and I am desperately sorry I am going to be changing the front brake pads, the rear brake pads, and the rotors. There they are. And this is the Oddbot mechanic, and I'm also going to be servicing my mum's car as well which is well overdue and this will tell you why my uh hang on why to take I'm back with a torch yes now you see this is what you don't want to end up doing when your brakes break rotors and pads get down to this because that that shiny bit, I'm not sure how well that will hold up, is metal and metal contact. And yeah, that is something you don't want to do. So yes. And... Oh, pretty much that is... Since I've owned it, uh... Pretty much all the kilometers I've done, not bad for a 23 year old, but yeah, I am 30,000, no not 30,000, 3,000 overdue, what am I saying? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, overdue for a service, so yeah, so it's service and pads, so for the time being I'm just going to be end up working on the, um, uh, pads, oh, pads, rotors, rear rotors and pads, so yeah, and yeah, I love this thing, I never want to get rid of it, yeah, it's an Autobot, and something that ends up happening quite more often than you think. But enough of that, let's crack into some parts, shall we? So, for winter, you if you are servicing your own car, you want to end up going with a 10W40. For um, 97 models or anything that's pretty much 23 or 10 years old. Um, got some wheel clean, because I'm going to need it, and glass cleaner, uh, that can wait for later. So yeah, air filter, fuel filter, very tiny oil filter. And in case you're wondering, and if you do run a like Mitsubishi Verada slash Magna, there's the, um, oh come on camera, focus. I suppose it's what I get for using me, um, phone, not considering I've got nothing else better, and so it's pretty much OF98SL, and under that says can use Z456 if you really can't see that there anyway, but yeah, fuel filter, and the brake pads. Now, which one was it that he said? I'm going to have to be careful about. Uh, come on. I suppose this is what I get for using... Ho oh, ho. Shiny. And I'm not sure how well that's going to... Oh, come on, just focus. Terrific. My phone's being an ass. Oh, well. suppose, anyway, that's what my phone is. There it is. There, 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 there. Oh, yeah, I need to keep the receipt because of... I think the guy said it was the rear brakes because they're a two different set. 
Um, unfortunately, because the reason why there is two different sets because you can have either single piston or you can have a dual piston brake caliper on the front and on the rear. But for the time being, I've only got singles uh, front and rear. Anywho, let's get some chocks into place, shall we? Because we're going to be dealing with um, a bit of bloody brakes. Here we go, there's one for that side. So I can't roll backwards. So pretty much if you if quick reminder, my car's uh, front wheel drive. Um so yeah, it's not um an all-wheel drive, rear wheel drive and all that, whatever. Nick shut up. Um but yeah, so pretty much if you are going to be working on the back, if you are going to be working on the back, you're going to need like some chocks and these were on the way. I could think about, uh, um, oh, bloody hell, I was only just there. 16 bucks, 16 bucks for a pair. So pretty much if you're going to be working on rear brakes, it's best to have the front wheels chopped. One, it doesn't matter which side you do, you can either have one behind the left side or one in front of the right side or vice versa. You have one in the front and one in the rear for the left. Rear for the left. Rear for the right. So that one's there and this one shall be. For, and my bike, I still need to find my bloody helmet. Yes, so because apparently moved and yeah so majority of parts and that's a, another story off topic anyway so <clears throat> jam that in there you're not going anywhere nope you're good now the fun part jack her up so I'm gonna leave it here until I've got the jack sands up and under there we go, we've got it jacked up thus far. Now to stick the stands underneath. Ah, oh, come on, be nice. Uh, oh, do I take it up one? Yeah, I'll just quickly take it one. Take it one up. So pretty much I just gotta I gotta put you down for this. And there we go, had to jack up a little bit extra as well, so yeah, uh, let's see how these ones are. Oh, this side's not too bad, it's just mainly my um, um, driver's side, that is. It looks like I need to repaint them. Man, and need to clean them. Uh, they do have tiny little Autobots on them. I got them from Wish. And yes, there is a lot of things on here that are from Wish. Oh, if you ever are working, I also put some gloves on. Uh, if you ever are working on like old car, ask your ask your mum, dad, um, neighbours, friends if they've got like any old um, carpet or yeah, any old carpets or your old car mats that you can use to lie down, it works out well. Either that or you just wear no rolls and honestly, I really can't find mine. So, I'll just... Oh, almost. Almost lost. Right. You know what? Uh, you know what? Um, I'm just going to put you down just for a minute. So, hang tight. Go. So now, oh, first of all, I should really uh, come on. Where are you? Where are you? 
Nope. Bloody hell, I've got a lot of junk in here. Nope, that's a speed thing. Oh, come on, where the heck are you? There you are. My. There we go. So they're going to need that. Uh, which side do I want to do? Um, I'll stick with this side. So now that that's done. Gently well uh, down. Whoops, sorry. Didn't realize how many um, fingers in the way. So yeah, I'm gonna gently lower it. And I'm gonna need another hand for this, so hold on a tick. And we are secure on the jack stands. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that there because just in case you honestly you never know what could happen so it's always good to have an extra point in stability now tools hmm where are you where are you where are you uh, well for starters I could put that bag there. I uh, got the Ryobi and my impacts. Where are my impacts? Ah, oh, there they are. Bloody right under me freaking nose. Sorry. Yep. So pretty much I'm just trying this out, so I'm going to see how this goes. You're more than welcome to give me any sort of feedback. Um, I have a, um, uh, for Mitsubishi, it's regardless of the fleet, it's always going to be 21. Unless you put like a lock set of lock nuts on and this one well I really shouldn't say because then yeah anyway so yeah so I'll get back to you when I've got a wheel off while I'm waiting for um to do the other side I thought I'd get you a um, quick Comparison of my air filter. So, there's the old yucky one. Oh, going with the charcoal one. Nice. It's going to help do with the, um, that's just going to be awesome. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use, just as long as you get one just recommend for your car so yeah and for mine believe it or not and it's dark under here I just realized that so hang on one more minute there we go we have light so yeah mine just ends up popping into that which yeah so yeah yeah, nothing special, no turbo, not really, but I do love enjoying working on this. I, yeah, I just really do enjoy working on this car. I love it to bits. Now, if you're curious about, well, about, uh, come on, be nice. Yeah, if you're curious about this, I it's just a cover for your normal radiator cap, and I got that from Wish. I think it was only about uh, two bucks. And same with the um, Braliart oil cover. 
and Wish again. Well, Geek, supposedly. It's pretty much, if you want to find it, just type in Geek in either your Google Play or App Store. And Green Square with a white G in it. Just called Geek. And for the strut brace, that was from eBay. Uh, I think it was, oh, when did I get that installed? Oh, I can't remember, but um, thankfully I have it. Because it's bloody awesome. Um, got it from, yeah, as I said, got it from eBay. Um, ordered it a Friday. Got it the following Wednesday. And fitted it at my old work Friday morning and yeah it's just awesome to have it yeah. and painted this blue I honestly can't find the um, blue paint anymore um, I know I should be getting back onto the um, wheels if you want a bit more detailed description of my car and what I've done to it uh, leave a Leave a comment down below and just ask for another video and I'll give you the rundown of my um, 97 Mitsubishi Rada KEXI. Hmm. What the heck is that? Sand? How the heck did sand get in here? Oh well, going off topic. Anyway, um, not sure how well this is going to be. Whoop, sorry. There we go. So, pretty much that all. Open up your air filter. Sorry, but this is just something quick and easy. Ooh. I know that seem, may sound seem weird to some people, but just smelling new parts. Oh, just really smelling new parts. Well, especially since we're all in bloody quarantine because of the virus. That's all I'm going to say if... Why is that coming off? And... Give it a 180, Nick. Ah, oh, come on, be nice, be nice, be nice, be nice. Sorry. Sorry. Come on, where are the numbers on ya? Two thousand five. Wow. So my old air filter was manufactured in 2005 so and that's yeah actually not half bad for the amount of stuff that have actually gone around to it but anyway sorry I'm off camera and all that but yeah so just as long as you can still hear me I really don't mind sorry but you're gonna get a butt in the face just popping down some side things so yeah but, sorry just honestly I really don't have a phone stand yet so I'm kind of looking into one considering that I'm just starting out on my YouTube and yeah and again the YouTube 
Well, yeah, pretty much I'm just starting out on YouTube, so don't feed me to the sharks just yet. Okay, so with, as I always say to my friends, trial and error. Just honestly, trial and error. Oh, and any mod that you do want to do, um, make sure you're doing it nice or you're buying it twice. Just sort of throw that in as well. Honestly, I've never had this sort of trouble in the past before. So why are you giving me trouble now? Haha! Yes! Score one for the mechanic. So that's another thing that I don't have to worry about for a while. I think the next thing on the agenda, further down the road, will be um, transmission. But let's sort other things out, shall we? So, whoop. sorry, you got a flashlight to the thing. Uh, what are we? Uh, Twenty-one minutes. Sorry, it's taken so long, but yeah, it's just honestly, it's. Just starting out here and yeah, just trial and error. So, impact, Ryobi. Um, I'm gonna put you down until I actually, I do get the wheel off this time. 100% positive on that. So, see you in a minute. Uh, one thing I would like to point out, if your nut from your wheel gets uh, stuck, just pretty much take the socket off, bang it on the ground, or you get a hole punch and you pretty much just drop it, smack it down onto the ground and it, the force should just pop up. So, yeah. yeah. Actually, yeah. <clears throat> Come on. And I also got myself a new um the uh, drain drain container. <sighs> Where's that torch? Ooh, shite. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be fun. Okay, well, wheels off. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun getting the Look at all that muck. Anyhow, getting off topic. So that's going to be fun trying to get all this off. Considering... One, I've never done it. And two, well, I've never pulled off disc riders on my own car. I have on others, considering I am a mechanic. So... Yeah. I'll... Pretty much I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put you down and then see how far I get and then if not I'll let you know in a sec, okay? If you can, might I suggest uh, getting this. This is the best thing that I could even could have investing in. Yeah, losing me words today. The best thing I could have invest. Same with my Ryobi and my Ryobi torch. So pretty much, if you are like a just young mechanic or an automotive enthusiast, pretty much just I recommend just grabbing 
Briar Abbey, it's worked well for me. I haven't had any faults with it, so I'm not a supporter. So I'm not sponsoring is what I should say. So getting back to this. Sorry if you're down the deck there. I just sort of like to, to know that um, you pull off your calipers before you um, do anything else with your rotors. And it looks like someone's burning off. Hmm. You smell it. Okay. I'll give you pretty much more update in a little while. And there we go. We have got almost the caliper off. There we go. Whoa. Jesus. Oh, good lord. Now this is what you don't want to do. Oh, good lord. Surprised I didn't bloody have a freaking accident. Good lord. Yeah, oh, putting in a bit of light. Yeah, that is what you don't want to do. Pretty much. That is what you don't want to do. Now, come on, open. Open! Open! There we go. So, pretty much. I'm gonna have to put you down. Need two hands for this. And that, my friends. How brakes should be like. Not like this, like this. No, yes. Good, bad, that's what you want. Honestly, I'm surprised they even bloody let it that get that bad. I mean, ah, Fruit Loop. Sorry about that. I suppose it's what you get for wearing your gloves. Bloody hell. Thankfully I picked the worst side. I'd hate to see the bloody um uh <clears throat> passenger side. Well when I checked the passenger side it wasn't too bad, but again they're the Oh come on, focus. Pretty much their Repco brand, I'm um, not sure, but... Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop here and I'm just going to end up putting them on once I've gotten the rotor caliper out. So, back in a sec. So, the tools that I'm using that I just used to help get the um, top section of the caliper off, I used a 17 on this. I'm not sure how well you can see that. I use a 17 on this, and for the nut, well, I mean not the nut, for the bolt, was a 15. So you need to hold this retainer bolt, I think, in order to get to get to get the 15 mil off, in order to pull the caliper off. Now, is there any damage on here? Not that I can see, thank God for that. So yeah, and to get for the um, uh, caliper housing or bracket, whatever you want to call it, mount. Housing bracket, whatever you want to call it. Oh gee, I'm a real mechanic. Pretty much a caliper bracket house is pretty much two 14s on the back just there that's a 14 so until I can get myself a phone stand then maybe I'll do 
have a bit more, um, uh, what's the word for it? A bit more stream flow, so to speak, rather than me having to, um, uh, stop, start, pause, and all that. So, sorry about all that. After all, I am learning belly blade things about YouTube and all that. Come on, be nice. Now, I could use a ratchet on here with a pry bar, but I can't be bothered. I'm already crouched down and all that. Yeah, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the next size up. And attach it to here like that. Make sure that's on and doesn't slip. And you're not going to budge without actually me holding it. So I'm going to have to put you down. To Just a sec. And there we go. Other end. So this is pretty much very bad severe rotors. You win an R ordering parts, head to if you pretty much get WD 40, head to your local automotive shop, like uh, I don't know, maybe Autobahn, Repco, or um, Super Cheap Auto, and just yeah, pretty much. Oh, there it is. Don't want to lose that, so stick it over there. Washes, no. Yeah, how's this looking? That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. But eventually, one day, I'll. Um, Just put a comment down below, and um, if you want to learn more about this car in general, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to put you down now. Uh, how long? Have we 